Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today showing you how to uninstall or reinstall Cortana, as well as essentially resetting or repairing it. So basically any problem you have with Cortana, we should be able to fix right here. And it's pretty easy to do. We have two ways to do it. We can do it in settings or we can use PowerShell. Let's start with settings. Click on start. Over here. Click on settings. And then click on apps right here. And we're going to scroll down and find Cortana right here. Once you click on it, as you can see, advanced options appears. So go ahead and click on that. Now you've got three choices here, if you're lucky. Repair, reset, uninstall. So you want to do them in order. Let's click repair. That's it. Done. See if it works. No? No. We can go to reset. Now reset is going to delete any data. So go ahead and click that. You don't have a lot of choice at this point if it's not working. Hopefully repair worked for you. And if all else fails, click on uninstall. If it's grayed out, that's okay. We can get around that too. Let's do that now. All right. Everything else didn't work. Couldn't get it uninstalled. Let's work on it. Check up here for the little eye that pops up. Click on that and it'll follow you through to the link to this page right here, allowing you to come over here and copy this code because it's a little more than you want to type. Highlight that. And that is current user. Now, if you're having a problem across multiple users, highlight this. Then you'll right click and click on copy. Now that that's in your clipboard, we will press the Windows key plus X. And click on PowerShell. Let's run it as admin right here. I'm going to resize this. You can kind of watch what I'm doing at the same time. We're going to put this in, and when we do, with a control V, that's pace. When we put this in, a little green bar should pop up here if everything works well, and then you'll come back to a prompt. You know, so a little flashing thing there. Let's do it. Where's my green box? There it is. There's your little prompt. You're all set. Just to show you, whoops, start settings, apps gone no more Cortana okay so that means we got to get it back assuming you want it back two ways you can do that you used to have to do it with PowerShell but Microsoft has now added it to the Microsoft Store so you can follow this link right here and you click on download now oops I'll have to fix that when you click on download now it should take you to the Microsoft Store once you get to the Microsoft Store you can go ahead and click on get and usually have to click get a couple of times open the Microsoft Store blah 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 and just click your way through until you download Cortana look at this thing and again get and then sometimes you gotta click get again yeah not much we can do about that for you sorry however there is one little thing we can say to heck with the Microsoft Store and we can install it by copying this code right here. Copy. Right click copy. Let's go back to PowerShell. And let's press Control V. Unlike the first time, it shouldn't show anything. I should press Enter. It should just be back and a cur blank uh, flashing cursor. Yay me, it worked. So good when you look smarter than you are, isn't it? All right, that worked. Let's see if it's there. Mm -mm -mm. Do, 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 do. Probably have to reboot, but it's back now. And again, if it's not, typically a reboot's common. Go ahead and try and get it from the store again. But you sh one of these should get you there, and I'm pretty confident that you'll probably fix your problem with re repair. If you don't, you'll probably fix your problem with reset. So coming all the way down to uninstalling and reinstalling is pretty unlikely. So there you have it, how to reinstall, uninstall, reset, repair, whatever else you can do with Cortana. Have a blast. Thanks for watching as always. See ya.